Even after 12 years, the scars are yet to disappear over the bringing down of Babri Masjid at Ayodhya in Uttar Pradesh. The unsavory incident continues to haunt millions of minority Muslims as they will be observing December 6th as Black Day for the past 12 years. The 16th century Babri Masjid at Ayodhya by a strong Hindu fundamentalist group way back on December 6th, 1992. As a precautionary measure, the security tend to be beefed up all over the country and especially in those predominant minority living areas to ensure peace is not disturbed. Yes, December 6th happens to be Black Day as the 16th century Babri Masjid structure was brought down by advocates of Hindu militant outfits calling themselves as Karsevaks. A dispute between minority Muslims and majority Hindus continued to persist as the later strongly believed to be the birthplace of Ram, their deity. The Hindu groups, especially the VHP, RSS and Bajrang Dal, claims that a mosque was built demolishing the Ram temple at the disputed site. Incidentally, for majority Hindus, Ayodhya happens to be a major religious destination. Meanwhile, the claims and counterclaims between the two major religions, custodians and their followers also moved the courts for justice. But the courts too caught in a bid as it appears to have been not yet got convinced with the so-called clinching evidences being provided by both the aggrieved parties to substantiate their arguments. Ironically, the gates of the disputed side were thrown open during the tenure of Rajiv Gandhi in 1985. Interestingly, one of the oldest litigants of the disputed side belonging to minority Muslims, Hashim Ansari had withdrawn from the case, reasons best known to him. When media approached him, he not only got sick with the inordinate delay in courts delivering the judgment, but also some of his own community leader having derived political mileage from it. He even named the political leader, who is now a cabinet member of Samajwadi Party-led UP government, Azam Khan. In fact, he accused either side politicians taking undue advantage and exploiting religious sentiments of people. As a result, even the courts had been suggesting for an out-of-court settlement among the warring parties to put an end to long-stressed legal battle. If one neutral suggestion can be a temple and mosque side by side to please both the communities for a better amity, then the other is to raise welfare structures like either hospital or educational institution for an international standard museum on the said disputed site. Shouldn't the wearing groups sit together and settle the issue amicably? Is it not the responsibility of the most popular Prime Minister like Narendra Modi to hammer out a solution which will not hurt either community, instead let allow his own party going ahead with the temple construction promise? Will not such good Samaritan solution help erase his own image as hardcore Hindu who let loose hell in his erstwhile tenure as Gujarat Chief Minister during post-Kodra riots? News Desk, Mango News